about Auntie Vicky, which I wrote like uh, a couple months ago. So yeah, I'm about to do it right now. It was Kwanzaa 2016. A celebration with so many black people. Lots of food, fun, messes, and more. Every year we would gather at Life Enrichment Bookstore, which was owned by Miss Vicky, also known as my auntie. I've been going to our Kwanzaa gathering since I was a baby. And one night, my mom and I stayed late to clean. We've stayed late before, but on this one day, nobody else was there to help. And Auntie Vicky was very uh, particular about the story and demanding like, go there, you missed the spot, move this chair, get me a tissue, go to my car. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff. In what seemed like many hours of cleaning, we were finally finished. I was so happy. Before we left, I gave her a big, big hug. And like after doing all that work, being there for like, a, like an hour and a half, you would think that she would say like, thank you or something. Or like, one of, one of those things. But then she ended up saying, see you tomorrow. And like, all that work, and I, all I get is a see you tomorrow. But then, now that I look back at it, I can see that she was right. I would be there tomorrow. Because she knew that I would be there, because she trusted that I will always come to spend another day with her and my community. Now she is gone. I won't be able to spend any more time with her. I won't hear her lecturing me about how to be a good business owner or about my attitude. I can't make any more memories with her, but I know she's with me in spirit. Here's a little more uh, about Auntie Vicky. She was an amazing auntie, a person who showed love and so much support. Ms. Vicky was a strong black woman who persevered through many obstacles and would lift you up. She was an educator, business owner, storyteller, keeper of our culture as black people, and all the other things that you would take, that would take forever to say. But one thing that really stood out was that she was family. Family to me and everyone in the black community. Even the crazy kids who ran around her bookstore. She was loved by so many people. See, Miss Vicky's bookstore, Lens, is currently the only black-owned bookstore in the state of Washington, and one of the very few in the nation. It didn't, it didn't start off as we know it now. She built it up, and it was moved from location to location. It took sweat, tears, and commitment to make it the home it is now. We honor her legacy in the black community. I will always remember her as one of the most intelligent, brave, and proud black women that I've ever known. I love her dearly and was very, very hard hearing that she had died. And I am sad knowing that I will uh, never hear her voice again saying, see you tomorrow. Oh.